Ahoy hoy, Captain Jesse Tattoo here, and today on Sea of Thieves, I present you with rowboats and how they're going to work. Has anyone noticed the amount of destroyed rowboats washing up on shores in all these outposts as of lately? Well, I got some news for you. They've been there since beta. People just kind of looked past them. The game is so beautifully laid out that we kind of just didn't even notice them, but they've been there pretty much this whole time. They may have added a new one here or there, but these boats have been here since beta. And the developers have had a pretty good concept of how they were going to attach them to the main ships since before launch. If you check the Sea of Thieves art book, um, I'll put a link below to this book. It's fantastic. Um, there is some images right here that show exactly how it's going to work. So I'm going to show you how this is going to look in game with my cool editing skills for your entertainment. So I hope you enjoy. And I got to take up a quick second of your time and just self promote myself here and ask for a little like if you do like this stuff. If you like my content, like it. Also, if you really like it, subscribe. Anyways, enough of that crap. Let's get on with the show. Okay, to start off, I do find it quite interesting that all of the assets are already in the game. There's oars in the tavern. There's derelict ships on the beach with oars attached to them and makeshift shelters. They're everywhere, right under our pirate noses. Okay, so I have read that these are not going to be automatically attached to your ships when you load into the game. They are going to be scattered around on islands and small docks and jetties for you to find and go and hook up to your ship. Um, so I believe that those extra docks that are just sitting, those little tiny wuss docks, we all know them. There's the main docks that we park at, right? These ones. And then there's these kind of docks, these little mini ones that kind of don't seem to suit a purpose. I believe that we're going to find small rowboats attached up to the odd one of these, as well as just parked on beaches once in a while. So you're going to have to go find one and then bring it back to your ship and hook it up. And uh, this is the way I figure it's going to hook up to the ship. Okay, and once you get your dirty little hands on one of these rowboats, you're going to have to row it back to your ship and attach it to, most likely, the back of the ship. And this will allow you to load and unload whatever from the back of the sloop, like this. Okay, now as far as the brig goes, I'm hoping they're going to do a little bit of redesign work. I really believe that the map and the brig itself should be swapped places, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, this is how I figure it's going to go on the back. They're going to have to do some extensions of the woodwork to make this fit. Um, there's no cover on top. Even the sloop has a little bit of cover in that back room. So you're an absolute sniper target with the brig. So a little bit of tweaking by Rare is probably coming down the pipe soon. Especially if we're going to make these uh, rowboats attached to the back properly. There's going to have to be some new mechanics added to the ships themselves. Also, this bed is in a really bad spot. It just gets soaked with water. Maybe they'll move it and add a door here. Who knows? But again, for your entertainment, the rowboat should sit on the back of the brig, something like this. Now last, but certainly not least, we have the galleon. Now, right outside the captain's chambers is this back deck system. Now, the poles at the top, or the posts rather, um, already are pretty good, and I believe with just a, an addition of a buckle, will support um, a rowboat right here and be able to come right up to the top deck so you can unload right onto this deck. Again, probably something like this. 
Now, I for one am very much looking forward to this new edition of Rowboats and all the shenanigans that you dirty pirates are going to get into, filling them full of gunpowder and snakes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, the new and interesting ways that folks use the mechanics in this game is one of the things that continues to drive me to make videos. Now, if you are like myself, you are passionate about this game and would like to discuss with me personally and my crew further about the state of the game and the future of the game, you should join my Discord and uh, check out my Twitter while you're at it. As always, the links are below in the description. I truly hope that you enjoy the time and energy that I take and put into these videos for you guys. And if you do, again, I'm going to drive it home one more time, but don't forget to hit that like button if you did indeed like my video. And if you really liked it, consider giving me a subscribe and hitting that bell notification. I go live every week right after patch day and do a breakdown, a Sea of Thieves newscast, if you will, um, called The Captain's Log. So make sure to check that out, and uh, hopefully I'll see you real soon. Cheers.